All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra. We're back for some more indie gamification here with the Hinterland Games, or Hinterland Studios game, The Long Dark Thingamajig. Not to be confused with the Long Dark uh, pixelated thing that we won't speak of. And uh, this is a survival sim that has a story, or will eventually have a story, where you're like a downed bush pilot, probably in the Alaskan wilderness, and you've got to try and survive the cold and the murder that exists out in the woods. Um, I checked this out like a year plus ago, and we're going to check out what has changed, if anything. So let's hop into sandbox mode and see what has happened with Frozen Nipple Simulator 2015. Um... What do we want? Like, we've got, like, Voyager, which is the basic, um, like, uh, game difficulty. You are an explorer, in equal parts hunter and hunted. The world will not give you anything freely, but you'll find that with time you can master it. Alright, this is reasonably challenging. Pilgrim. Wander the long road to observe the quiet- uh, let's just go with, uh, Voyager. Fondling crows and owls and stuff is fine. Oh, is there more than one, uh... Oh, there's more than one map now. There's Pleasant Valley, uh, Desolation Point, Random, or, um, nothing, which hasn't been added yet. Okay, there's Coastal Highway and Mysterious Lake. Well, I think, I think previously we checked out Mysterious Lake, so let's, uh... I don't know, what's, what are we feeling like? Uh, let's see Desolation Point. Explore the world and find the route that leads to to the- Oh, we have to, like, start down here and work our way to unlocking these new areas. Okay, so we'll start with Coastal Highway. You found your way to the Coastal Highway, which winds its way around the weather-battered coastline with small clusters of habitation. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go with Dude. We'll- we'll see what happens here. Okay, a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Okay. So we are... We're in the middle of nowhere. Our plane has crashed. And we need to find shelter, food, and warmth. So for anyone who's not especially familiar with the long dark. The idea here is this is a survival simulator that is sort of like... Imagine you were, like, vacationing in, like, the frozen north and something happened to your plane or however you were traveling, like, your boat overturned and everyone with you got murdered and now you have to survive in, like, the the abandoned wilderness that's like, you know, there's not a lot of people who go out and screw around out here during the winter. And you've got to survive by finding, like, abandoned cabins or, like, abandoned food or frozen dead people that you need to fondle. And something's going on here. Like, there's this weird geomagnetic storm which has fondled our plane into crashing into the ground. And that's not very good. So we got a couple things here. There's a fishing house out on the lake. This actually this kind of looks like it's like on the edge of a bay. So we're on like a coastal highway. Previously, we would have only had access to like a uh, far out in the wilderness uh, lake with some cabins and junk. But now we've managed to find our way out of the mountains in this particular map and find some more shelter, and maybe find some people. So I guess that implies that The Long Dark isn't going to be a survival sim about staying in one place, waiting for rescue, trying desperately to survive from being fondled and eaten by, like, cannibal uh, rednecks or anything, and more about progressing through the frozen, abandoned north until you can get far enough south that you can actually find a bit of safety. So what do we got? We got some crates with some food in it. Ooh, orange soda. 
Now that is Larry's favorite brand uh, or flavor of soda. Okay, we got some basic dry goods here. Uh, do do do. What do we got? Plastic container. Nothing in the plastic container. Um, it's a little dark in here. But if we do need to shack up for the night, this wouldn't be a terrible place to do it. I mean, there's a couple of bunk beds. And we got some newspapers we could use to start a fire. Ooh! And in case I get a machete to the face, we found some, uh, bandages. And some delicious warm mittens to keep our, our, our fingers warm. Maybe we can find some amazing, uh, long woolen socks to keep our toesies comfortable. So, I guess if we wanted to get out of here by boat, we're pretty much fucked on that, Mark. This kind of looks like it's like a fishing outpost where you go on, like, fishing vacations. There's a bunch of pallets and some buoys and some boats and... Maybe not vacation, because there's big nets there. But this is totally an area where, like, commercial fishermen would come and touch stuff. Oh, yes, we got some wool socks. That's what I like to see. All right. Oh, hell yes, we got a jacket. Perfect. Um... Ooh, hey, a plastic container. Oh, yes, a granola bar. Gotta keep your calories up when you're in the woods, kids. Like Bear Grylls always says, um, pee in your mouth to maintain sustenance early and often. Can I break this? I cannot. Or, well, I guess I can smash it, but we don't really need to smash anything just yet. I don't necessarily even know what else is in our lovely little campsite. So we need to keep track in this game, from what I remember. You gotta keep track of your heat, your calorie intake, your water level, and probably try to find a weapon so that we can knife anything that wants to eat us. In the face. Why would there be a candy bar in a first aid kit? What kind of weird diabetes person is like in charge of the first aid out in the woods? Come on now. I'm a chupacabra. I know about the living in the woods, although it's a little bit warmer when you live in like Central and South America and Mexico as a as a goat and sheep eating monster. But still, I, I got the I got the broad strokes down. If it growls at you, hit it in the face with a brick, and then you can eat its organs. It's... I don't know what's so complicated about this. People like Bear Grylls make it seem like it's so hard. Oh. Okay, fishing cabin, big old fat bed, autosave, salty crackers. Huh, well, if in a pinch we could potentially consume said crackers, but, um... Well, the trouble with that is that, uh, it would reduce our water levels inside of our body. And that makes the not dehydrating to death kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I wish we could find, like, uh... I don't know, like a, a hatchet, or if somebody kept a shiv under their pillow. I would definitely be down to clown with that. Well, that's pretty much all we've got here. I'm a bit peckish, I'm pretty well rested. I've got... Oh, I'm a bit chilled now, though. Um... Hmm. What does my inventory look like? Oh, not terrible, not terrible. Um... Hmm. I should put on the... Well, actually, I've got pretty good condition everything. Let me wear these mittens, though. I, I need something to keep my fingertips warm. Um... So what do we got down the road? I can't really see. Uh, I guess we can piss ass around on the- on the lake. With all this... Uh, like, ice, and see what's inside these fishing cabins. You usually don't just leave fishing cabins out on the ice if they're not currently in use? Or at least... I don't think you do. Maybe not. This looks like- oh, this is flat out open. But I could start a fire in here using some of this newsprint. 
All right, nothing in that drawer. More newsprint. What is it with everyone here and reading news? Bring an iPod. Oh, I got a fishing hook and some and some garbage, and some cloth and some reclaimed wood. All right, that's not bad. That's actually pretty legit. So, what do we got in the distance? We got a highway. And there's like an island in the middle of this bay. I'm debating what the best course of action is here. So we need to find a place that we can hunker down for the evening time. This environment is beautiful. But I hear wolves. And they can come try to fondle our flesh and eat us. And I don't quite want that to happen. So here- oh, we got a car. Can I start the car? That would- probably not. That would be a little too easy here in this game. Oh, we got some matches though, so we won't get fondled to death. Oh, got a candy bar and shit in the glove box. More matches, energy bar. We got a radio. Does the radio work? Okay, no luck on the radio. Alright, that's legit. What's in the back? Oh, this is really- Ooh, yes. Nobody needs this anymore. That's what Larry need- well, Dude, if I'm dying, I don't give a shit if I flat out steal from a dead old lady. She's dead. It's not like she's gonna use a hunting knife. I mean, I'm not gonna eat her flesh, but I'm sure as hell- Well, what's that mean? Am I getting cold? I am getting cold. Um... Hmm... So we need to find some place now to shack up for the night. We kind of started late in the afternoon when we crashed. That's not really how the cold works. I've been out in the cold before, sir. I'm... something can see me? Are there wolves? Well, that's not good. That is not good at all. I need to find, like, a house or something to shack up in for the night. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have a map. This is, like, northern Canada, so... I don't really know jack shit about northern Canada. I know they have, uh, a currency based around frozen maple syrup coins. But those kind of go to shit if, uh... Oh, what the hell is this? Is this, like, a wood logging bay for, like... Bringing logs down the river? My stamina is kind of fucked. And I kind of hear... Wolves in the distance? Wolves can super duper kill the fe the hell out of you. I should probably mention... 100% cold? Am I dying now? And I'm... Freezing. Dude, you're wearing like super thick coats and shit. What are you complaining about? I guess there's nothing down here. Well, that sucks. I'm probably gonna die soon. I guess that's my health pool there. And I'm gonna start dying very slowly. I don't want to stay out during- oh. Well, there goes an elk running from something. That's probably a bad thing. I'm gonna go make for one of that- that- that, uh, fishing hut and hope that I can shack up there for the night. Hopefully it has a door. Do fishing huts? They have doors. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to fuck around with uh, with wind while you're fishing in the cold. That's not a thing you'd want. That's that's just stupid. Also, that elk looks very delicious. I bet I could bash its head over with a rock and eat its face. Okay, what do we got? Some orange soda. Let's start a fire. We need to start a fire. Okay, I have cardboard matches. Um, I have some accelerant. Yeah, let's do this whole thing. I need a fire. Oh, I can break the ice. Uh, but I'm- wait, I have a hammer? No, I just have a knife. I don't really need to break the ice, though. This isn't like a mixer or anything. Oh, I, I have a fishing line. I can go fishing, and I have a flare. Oh, and another hook. Okay. This hasn't been too bad at all. I mean... I don't really know that we want to go fishing right now, but... 
the option is open to us. So, what's going on outside? There's another fishing hut over there. I... I don't... I flat out don't see anything along that road that to me would indicate uh, any habitable structures? Not really. Um, I mean, there's a road, but it pretty much just follows the peninsula. I think I see something over on that island over there, though. That might be worth taking a look. So I'm going to... I'm just gonna stay by this fire for a little bit. What's my status look like? I'm pretty numb right now. Can I stoke the fire? Let's add fuel to the fire. Okay, there we go. So, I should be warming back up. Let me... Let me go ahead and eat something. I'm getting a little hungry. I think I could use a snacky or two. So let's have a granola bar. Let's eat this bad boy. And then let's have, um... Not an energy bar. Let's have one of my favorite flavor of soda. A uh, sweet, delicious, carbonated beverage. So, what am I looking like now? I'm getting warmed up. Um, that's good. Man, it takes forever to get warmed back up in this game. I'm like next to a roaring fire in this fireplace. Like, potbelly stoves get super duper hot. I don't hear any growling, though. And that's typically what would indicate that a, a wolf is trying to sneak up on me. Alright, that's not bad. So it looks like they've been slowly improving the long dark, like there's new environments, new maps, the graphics still look pretty stellar and delicious, and they've added like new mechanics and stuff, like there's new types of drawers and containers and uh, maybe a couple new items, I don't necessarily know. So let's see, can I equip a weapon? Is that like a thing I can do? I have a knife. I can't knife anything with it. That seems odd. Do I have a quick bar? I can't remember if I have a quick bar or not. I mustn't have a quick bar. Wait, why do I want... Do I even want to break ice? Uh, I don't... I don't really have a reason to care. Truthfully. Oh, am I super hungry now? Is that a thing? Am I getting stupidly hungry? All right, fine. Let's eat... What is this? Granola bar? Oh, wait. Yeah, we should eat the granola bar. I ate a candy bar before, and that does not count as food. Okay. We got plenty of calories in our gut. We got, like, 2,000 calories. That's good. Do I dare... Can I add more fuel to this fire? Oh, I can. Sweet. Oh, oh hell yes. Oh, and there's, like, fire next... Oh, well, lol. I didn't even need to waste all of my, uh, wood scraps. Um, I hear wolves, though. Me no likey wolfy. Well, what's my option here? I think what we should do now is make a break for that area over there. I mean... Or should I... Maybe I can sleep. Let's try sleeping. Let's sleep for f three hours. That seems pretty good. Nine hours of darkness left. Eight hours of darkness left. Seven hours of darkness left. Oh, the fire went out. Shit. We're, we're doing okay on heat, though. Let's, let's just start another fire. I'm sure this will be fine. Because, I mean, when you have newspaper, that makes it a hell of a lot easier to start a fire. As someone who was a bit of a pyromaniac in the scouts, I can tell you with a fa- for, like, a fact. Oh, are you serious? Alright, fuck it. We gotta get out of here. I wonder, how thick is this ice? Probably pretty thick. You guys suppose? Whatever, we can always just shack up in each of these. What do you mean I can be seen? But there's not wolves out here. Get the fuck out with that bullshit. There's a potbelly stove here. 
and I'm feeling a might bit, um, a might bit hungry. So maybe I'll try to eat something. Oh, I found some scrap metal. All right, basic gloves. What do we got here? Energy bar. Yeah, you know, let's have another energy bar. Fuck it. We're finding plenty of food to keep us going. Let's have another soda. Man, sodas are great for calories. They're full of so many delicious sugars. Um, maybe we can put on, like, a new piece of equipment. Like, we've got gloves. But we're wearing, like, the super sexy gloves. Let's put on this hat. This'll totally increase our heat re re retention factor of, like, a, a number. Alright. That's not bad. We're totally, like, crazy at night time right now, though. Oh, now I'm starting to lose health. Well, that's shitty. I guess I should have tried to shack up in those shacks, but I don't even know what's over here. I mean, there's no time like the present to go wander around in the woods and die slowly. What's my status? I am freezing to death. And I'm... F I'm feeling a little bit, uh, thirsty. Wait, what was that noise? It sounded like an animal, like, grunting as it ran across ice. This has been weird. This has been weird so far. Alright, well, we found a place with wood that we could potentially start a fire. Um, there's some more cloth, some more tomato soup, more cloth. Ah, tin of sardines, alright. I can survive and my breath can smell like shit. That's my favorite. Ah, but we found more soda. Summit soda. That'll be pretty cool. And what do we got? Oh, a tinder plug. Alright, this is going well. Alright, well, I guess we'll probably do this into a short series, guys and gals. I've been your host, Larry. Um, this has been more of, um, the long dark. We're taking a look at what's changed in the year that it's been running around on Early Access. Gonna see about doing a bit of surviving tonight, and see where that takes us. So, until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if there's any stuff in this game you like, have tips on, because God knows I haven't played this game in a long time, like, it has been a while. Where's that t here we go, Tinder plug. Come on, start the fire, but yeah, let me know if you have any tips in this game, I was never exactly a master of it, I've got the basics down, but, um, I lack some of the finer points, so let me know, and until next time, I've been Larry, like, subscribe, and toodaloo!